guy contacts me. He had a, uh, he's got an apple orchard in his family run. And he goes in the backyard sometimes where the trees are to meditate. So he goes all the way to the back where the fence is and meditates about, um, you know, so he, so, and he, he's in his meditation pose and he's like sitting there quietly and, and he hears this, this weird, horrific screeching coming from the woods, this eerie screaming coming from the woods. And it, it says that the hair goes up on the back of his neck and every, like the fight or flight thing just says, run away. And he says, no, no, I got to figure out what this is. So he opens the gate and walks into the woods and he walks around and almost right away an owl flies up and lands on a branch and is doing this screeching and it is looking him right in the eyes and it is basically yelling at him. He said, you know, it felt like it was chewing me out. This owl was staring at me and was chewing me out. It was like looking right at me <laughs> and then the owl flew off and he goes back and he goes to his family and he, he gets in the house and he says to his wife, he said, oh my God, I had this powerful mystical experience. I was meditating in this owl and it looked at me in the eyes and it was chewing me out. And she said, oh, that's nice, honey. Um, Can you uh, set the table? And he's, oh, she doesn't get it. So <laughs> during dinner, he took kids. He's like, you know what happened? I was out there in this owl and this thing. And I followed this owl and this owl was screeching at me. He looked me right in the eyes. It was really cool. The kids didn't care at all. So he says, gets up after dinner and he says, I can get my camera. And he walks back out to the woods to the same spot. And he says aloud, he says, my family doesn't believe me. I need a picture. This owl flies in, lands on a branch. Take, he takes a picture and it flies off. I use that picture in my presentations. Wow. And I say, what were you meditating about? He says, I was meditating on if there was a God. It's connected, there, man. It's there it is. There's that thing. It gets like it's I'm not so I don't think God, like I'm not churchy, right? I don't go to church. I'm not like I'm not like locked into the term God, but I am very aware of something deeper and more powerful. You could call it God, you could call it the universal power. You know what I like to call it? I like to call it the myth making, the myth makers. There's some energy there's some intelligence smarter than we are behind the veil that is tinkering with us playing with us trying to teach us lessons in these very symbolic ways i that agree i agree with you 100 